My name is Candy Lopez Moreno, um, but I'm known in the art world as Candy Lopez or Candy G. Lopez. Um, I am a portrait painter and I also dabble in different mediums like collage and printmaking. Um, I like playing around with the idea of representing minorities in a world where it's not really represented specifically in the art world, but that's changing. So I'm an associate professor at NOVA in the art and design program. Um, we're part of the School of Communications, Media and the Arts. Um, yeah. I think the art world today is pretty open. We've come from a space where we learn about the cave paintings and then we learn about all the different isms and we get into like the Renaissance Ninja Turtles and then everything ends up blowing up because the invention of the camera and technology ends up coming in, which ends up shifting the way that artists create work and also the kind of messages that they're trying to portray or fight with, specifically now with social and political issues. Um, and a lot of artists are either making artwork for themselves or making artworks for other people. Um, and I think it's just gonna keep expanding. It's just that technology is another tool that artists can use. And the more variety in technology, the bigger the use of art within that scope. Well, when you think about art healing the world, I think it's been happening since the beginning of time. Why were there handprints and animals being painted in caves? What was the reason behind that? What were they trying to educate the other members of society to do? Um, and also there's art therapy. I mean, that's a track on its own. So people learning how to create art and becoming masters at that and then trying to help other people heal through ways that they can't physically um, it's more of an emotional connection when it comes to creating artwork. And there's various books and articles and websites that talk about the healing ability of creating artwork um, with people that have um, some kind of disability or they can't vocally say what it is that they need to say. But I think artists have been talking about these things for a long time and trying to educate like Keith Haring when the AIDS epidemic blew up in the 80s um, and him being an activist of awareness when it came to that and trying to change the world about their ideas of what that was um, or even artists like Vic Munoz who's a little bit more contemporary who's a Brazilian artist and he's going into these communities or these favelas in Brazil and using the locals to create art, to try to change their mind or their perception of what it is to be an artist or to get out of the funk that they're in because of the neighborhood that they grew up in or the experiences that they grew up in. So there's a lot of artists trying to do things to change, to heal the world. It's something that I think it's in us anyway. <laughs> you want me to sit here? Look yes, please. That's easier. That's easier. So that's like looking at the camera? Yeah.